Hey everybody, this is Sharon with She Sparks Business. Right now I am currently working on a networking blog and I figured I would quickly share just a little bit of tips for you. This is just basic um, advice and tips on what you can do for your networking skills as well as your knowledge. However, I believe a lot of people have heard this before, but it is just a fun, quick reminder. So uh, let me pull up my blog here and we'll quickly go over. I'm gonna go over real quick three different things. What to do before going to a networking event, what to do during, and how to proactively keep your follow-up after the networking event. So first, what to do before you go to a networking event. Number one, the most important part is have a goal in mind. Um, have something that you want to accomplish when you're going to this networking event, whether it's just to get contacts. Is it to maybe get a referral? Is it to send referrals? Whatever your idea is or your ideal um, goal that you want to make for going to this event, make sure you keep it in your head so you are staying focused. Next, obviously, dress to impress or whatever industry you are in, just make sure that um, it is, it fits your profession and it also makes you feel good. Definitely don't go feeling uncomfortable or people will be able to tell. Next is bring, bring business cards. Yeah, people bring business cards, but I can't tell you how many networking events I've gone to where people don't bring them or they're like, oh, I gave away my last one and just don't have any more to bring. So make sure before you go to any event that you have plenty of business cards. Next is um, what to do during the event. Definitely number one, first impressions are everything. So when you are going to a networking event, um, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, just make sure you're having a very professional, fun, rememberable, um, effective introduction. So when you're talking to people, we tend to go straight into, what do you do? What's your name? you know, just the boring, boring old stuff. And if you want to build trust or start building relationships, then pull out of the original and the boring and think of something interesting. Ask people, you know, what's your title in the company? How long have you been there? Why do you do what you do? What do you do for your free time? Um, do you have kids? Anything that will really blow their mind and see if you can get them to talk first. Because if you let people that you're networking with talk first, then they're going to show a lot more interest in your business and what you do. Um, when you are talking, just make sure that you are listening to them. Repeat back what they said. Repeat back their name so you, so you know um, that they know that you are actually paying attention and listening to everything, everything they have to say. Um, when it's your turn, get to the point. Whatever you're talking about, talk about your why. Talk about what you do. Try to wrap it up within maybe two to three sentences, something quick, um, not uh, too boring, but something that really talks about your why. And so people don't just disconnect after the two to three sentences because pretty much first impression is 30 seconds or less when we're talking um, to people and meeting people. Next is take notes. I see a lot of people not take notes at a networking events, which is totally fine. However, taking notes is a way to really advance um, remembering something about someone. The other day, I actually just ran into someone at Corporate Alliance that I had a table with a couple weeks ago, and I actually remembered a, a swimming story that he shared, and it blew his mind that I remembered it. But it's because I wrote it down, and the more we write things down, the better it triggers with our brain. So after the event, after the event, follow up, follow up, follow up. I see a lot of people, um, they'll pick certain people to follow up with and they'll kind of like ignore the rest. Something that I do that really has helped me with my networking skills at events would be to build um, either call them, but that takes a lot of time. So I have been emailing personal, personable emails to certain individuals stating, I liked you talked about this. I love that you said this about your company. Just let them know, hey, it was great to get to know you. And then what I would recommend is just do a reunion, whether it's the following week or the next couple weeks, whether you're in a group of people or just met one person, see if you can get together again to really start forming and building a relationship. Even if you don't, if you're not trying to push a sell or um, anything like that, just get to know people. 
and you will definitely see a tremendous change on building trust and that relationship. So this is Sharon with She Sparks Business. Like I said, again, keep your eye out for that blog. I will be posting it. Networking is the best. It's the best way to grow our businesses and um, to stay consistent with sales. And so if you have any questions about networking, there's a lot of great sources online. There's wonderful networking programs here in Southern Utah. There's Corporate Alliance, the Chamber of Commerce, BNI, the Women's Influence Center, She Sparks Business, um, and tons and tons of other networking sources here in Southern Utah. So get a part of them or one of them. If you are not yet and you want to come try one of them, let me know and I would love to have you come as my guest. So thanks again. This is your tip on networking.